I'm Anil Kumar. We'll explore patterns in sequence in this particular video. The question here is, find the next three terms. We are given two sequences here. The first one is 3 over 4, 1 over 2, 1 over 4, and so on. The second one is 2 over 3, 7 over 12, 1 over 2, 5 over 12, and so on. You can pause the video and write down the next three terms for each of the given sequences. Now we'll learn a strategy to solve such questions which involves fractions. So whenever you have operations with fraction, it is important to have common denominator, right? So, so the strategy here is to get common denominator. In the first case, we could make the denominator as 4, right? So we have 3 over 4. The second term, if I multiply by 2, both numerator and denominator, I get 2 over 4. The third term, already 4 is there, 1 over 4. And now it is easy to see the pattern. Do you see that? 3, 2, 1, and of course this is 0. 0 over 4, right? Let me write 0 over 4 first. Next will be 1 less, minus 1 over 4, and then minus 2 over 4, correct? We could now write down our answer as this pattern to be 3 over 4. 2 over 4 is 1 over 2, right? So we'll simplify now. Write down in the original form, this is 0. This is minus 1 over 4, and that is minus 1 over 2. Do you see that? So these are the next three terms for the given sequence. Perfect. So that is how you could actually get the answer for such questions. I hope that's absolutely clear. I'd like you to apply this strategy and find the solution for the next pattern. You need to provide next three terms, right? Okay. So the first strategy is common denominator. We could have denominator of 12. So I will write this as, how do I get 12? 3 times 4 is 12. So 2 over 3 is same as, we'll multiply both by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. We could write this as 8 over 12. We are given 7 over 12. Okay. 6 times 2 is 12. So this is 6 over 12. We are given 5 over 12. Now it's easy to see the pattern, correct? 8, 7, 6, 5. 4 over 12, 3 over 12, and 2 over 12. Perfect. So these are your next three terms. Now let's simplify them. 8 over 12 is the same as 2 over 3. We have 7 over 12, 1 over 2, 5 over 12. This is what is given to us. And now 4 over 12, dividing both by 4, what do you get? 1 over 3, right? Divide by 3, you get 1 over 4. Divide by 2, you get 1 over 6. So the next three terms for the second sequence are 1 over 3, 1 over 4, and 1 over 6. I hope you appreciate this strategy. You can share it with your friends, post suggestions, and participate actively. Thank you, and all the best.